Welcome to the live stream, my people. If you wanted to zone out and look at some amber, insects in amber, raw amber, all that stuff, you come to the right place. This is the right video. We're going to be exploring insects in amber like this for a couple of hours, selling some pieces. And uh, enjoy the show. As people log on the live feed, we're going to be talking into them and stuff. Uh, we're starting off with some Dominican Amber. This is a cab, which means it's flat on this side, ready to be put into jewelry, maybe a pendant or a big ring. And this one is from my personal collection. It's not for sale. This has a swarm of wasps in it right there. Boom, look at that wasp. Look at his legs. Look at his little jaws. You can see him. There's another wasp over here, super clear. We're going to look closely. Ooh. You guys see how you can see his eyes? You see the amount of detail you can see? Watch, if we go under the microscope on that guy, he's gonna be super cool. Uh, what's up, Paleo Raptor? What's up, Christy? How's your day going? That's for both of you, but Christy, how's your day going? Boom, so clear. This is Dominican Amber Wasp under a microscope. Actually, a swarm of wasps. There's their wings, or well, there's one wasp's wings. Boom, absolutely museum grade clarity, just as clear as it gets. And then next up is this guy. Ooh, that should be a profile picture or something. What's up, Roberto? Ciao, ciao. Whoa, okay, that piece. And then this guy here. Let's see if we can get him a little closer. Boom, this guy. All these guys just absolutely perfectly trapped in amber. This is definitely a museum grade piece. Definitely a museum grade piece of Dominican Amber. This one's not for sale. Um, oh, Christy, you're welcome. I'm glad you like it. My day's going well. We are trying really hard to get popular on YouTube. So in case you guys uh, want to subscribe to YouTube, watch or comment the videos, we're actually going to be uploading these live feeds to YouTube because uh, I found out that out of all the videos and all the shorts that I made, on YouTube, which is a lot of time and work uh, for me and my virtual assistant, the ones that got the most views were these live feeds that I logged, that I that I uploaded like a year ago or something. Just some just some normal live feeds that weren't really that special. I just threw them up just for fun, and they seem to be the ones that they get. They didn't get the most views, but they got the most watch time. So um, so we're gonna start uploading these in case you guys want to binge Amber Insects while you're not, while I'm not live. And so this is going in the personal collection. This is definitely an amazing piece, Dominican Amber personal collection. Every single Tupperware you see here is full of Amber or maybe Laramar. So we can go through any piece, that you, anything that you guys want. Let's go through, I'm feeling the 90s right now. I'm feeling the 90s, let's see. The 90s, yeah, let's do the 90s and the 55s. This is Dominican Amber with insects. So we're going through pieces that will either be $90 a piece or 55. The green amber has not arrived yet. Uh, I probably should go check the FedEx. The green amber has not arrived yet today. I will hopefully get it um, when I leave work today, I should be able to pick it up on the way home. All right, $90 a piece for these ambers. Let's see what we got. Dominican amber with insects. Here we go. This one has, ooh, this one has a spider. Not bad, actually. Not bad, not the best either. Medium clarity. I do not have any meteorites, no meteors. Dominican amber is 20 million years old, like Christy Pocus said. It's from the Dominican Republic. It's some of the finest amber in the world, especially noted for its numerous insect inclusions, its clear insect inclusions, and its nice yellow colors. This one broke. Oh, this piece of amber broke. Oh, there's a big chip off it. So it was 125 on the website. It was 125. This one is two small mosquitoes in amber with flow lines and bubbles. Two small mosquitoes. Let's see, this guy. Ooh, lots of bubbles. Could have it in hydro, but not sure. There's our mosquito right there. 
boom, one mosquito, he'll probably be do, he'll probably do really good under the microscope. Any bees? Yes, we do have stingless bees, honey bee rescue. Um, we will find those guys after this piece. Two small mosquitoes, a lot of bubbles. Ooh, some really good flow lines. You guys see those, you guys see those lines kind of going sideways through the piece right there? Those are called flow lines, and those show the layers that the amber was laid down in, and if I hit it with a UV light, which I'm gonna do right now, boom, they come alive. So good flow lines are our easiest authenticity indicator. You can see the little mosquito at the center of the screen. Not the craziest, but yeah, this one's at 90. And then, um, thanks for the gifts, guys. We always appreciate the gifts. Let's see. Um, bees, 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 stingless bees, Dominican amber. Let's see what we got here. Send us high bears, guys. Up at the top where the gifts are, send us high bears. We send a goal, set a goal for like 50 high bears or something. So stingless bees. Let's see what's up with these. Stingless bees in Dominican amber. Ooh, okay, biggish one. This one's at 150. Starting off with a bigger one. Oh, one sec. Put those, those away. Thank you, too. <laughs> I am having a wonderful day. How about you? Clear, stingless bee, and tiny in hydro. So when it says tiny, it means tiny. Don't, don't get your hopes up for a big in hydro. The bee... Okay, so he's pretty good. He's he's a little in a little bit of an awkward position, but not bad, and he looks very clear. Looks like he's right up on the surface of the amber to the point where he got sanded off a little bit. What's up, Dino? Welcome. Looks really clear, but kind of an unfortunately a little bit awkward angle. So not the best, not the worst. A little bit on the smaller side, but he is really clear. So we're gonna microscope this guy and see what he looks like. Hit him with a UV light real quick. Beautiful glow. Let's hit him with the microscope. This one's at 150. Boom. Oh, so clear, but it's so he was so close to the surface of the amber that half his head got shaved off. That's crazy. You can actually see into the the B. Isn't that crazy? And then boom. The wings. The veins on the wings, the bee, not a, not a bad one to start with, not bad, 45 for this one. Thank you, Christy. Yeah, all, all, um, all pieces come with the locality card, like it will come with this that says Dominican Amber Stingless Bee. And you guys know we got our sponsor... Canada Dry on deck today, so we're going to be cracking open a cold one in a second. Ginger Ale, Dude, we're talking about soda, baby. <laughs> that's a stingless bee in amber right there. Um, that's a B minus grade preservation. You can tell he's a B, but he's not really that great. But it's a beautiful piece of amber. This one's at 45. And I mean, if you look at it, you can see the bee pretty clearly just all on his own. So he's not bad. I like this one for 45. Actually, that one's pretty pretty, especially the red tones in it that give it a lot of character. That's a beautiful piece. I like that one. So that one's at 45. We've got a stingless bee right there. I do, I recommend that one. I like that one for the price. That one's at 45. Let's see, you got a couple at, let's do our 75s. What's up, Big Z? Welcome to the show. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Roberto, thank you for the roses. One fifth. No, wait, that's not the bag I wanted. I wanted the 75s. 
JDP, so you know what it's like buying Dominican Amber in the colonial zone in Santo Domingo. How cool is that? That's where that's where I started in the Dominican Republic. I've moved a long way since then, though. So these guys are 75 each, no matter what's inside. Let's see here. Piece number one, big piece. I like this guy a lot, actually. So um, you lived 13 years. Wow. How fragile are they? They're, they're relatively flat, fragile. They can scratch and they can shatter if dropped. JDP, what did you do in the Dominican Republic? Boom. Okay, so number one, this guy's at 75. Big piece. X marks the spot on that B. It's piece number one. Piece number two. Oh, that's a good one. That's a pretty good one. Not perfect, but he's pretty good. He's cute to the eye. You can see him really well. What's up, Moritz? Welcome, welcome. Dominican wife. <laughs> oh, nice. Do you guys live in the States? Had a, what's a banca? That's piece number, that was piece number two, the last one. This is piece number three. These are at 75 each, Dominican insects and amber. This is a pretty nice bee. He's a cab. I liked piece number two a lot. Here's piece number four. This guy's very cute. This guy's very cute. Sports Banca and now home in Toronto. Oh, Canada. Oh, so you you know you must know a lot about this stuff. That's cool. That's piece number four. Piece number five here. Stingless bees in Dominican amber. These bees. Uh, this one looks better. L looks a little bit better than the last ones. Um, stingless bees. They used the Domin They used the amber to like make their beehives. So they would send bees to collect the fresh amber resin, and they would get caught in the resin very frequently which is why we get so many stingless bees in amber. And uh, yeah, so that's a stingless bee. We're gonna microscope this guy real quick because he looks kind of cool. Microscope. Let's see. Pretty good one. Only thing is that occlusion that looks like it's cutting his head off is the only problem with this piece. No amber from Florida, but amber from Dominican Republic. No new insects in a while. Nope, we have not been able to get any new insects in a while. But there's always stuff. There's always a bunch of stuff. This one's a big cab, flat on the back, ready to be made into jewelry. Stingless bee right here. That one's at 75. Next one, a bit bigger, but also a bit darker. Oh, two bees. Do I happen to have any in hydros? Yes, we will do in hydros next. Two bees right there in a little smaller piece of amber, but very nice red, wine red tone. Ooh, that bee on the bottom right looks like he's really shiny, which is a sign of very good preservation. Let's see if we can't take a closer look. Not bad. The bug is trapped in this resin because the, the tree produced a fresh wet resin and the bug got trapped in it. And then it got fossilized forever. Uh, this one we're gonna microscope. I'm not sure if I can get the right angle on it, so let's see. But hopefully that bee comes through pretty well. Nice. Nice, look at his eyes. A lot of detail in the eyes. The antenna, super detailed antenna. Those always seem to preserve pretty well. Not bad, not bad. And the other guy, a little bit red from oxidation, so that obscures his view. Those are his wings. It looks like his wings are a red cape or something, but that's oxygen, oxidizing the piece. And that one is number seven at 75. Number eight coming up here is a big one. Number eight, it's a big piece. Nice B right in the middle, not bad. What's up, Frank? Piece number eight, piece number nine coming up. Why does that look like it wants, it wants to be an anhydro, but it's not. Oh, this guy, I remember. The resin is actually not all the same color. As you see, there's a lot of variations. Like this one's more deeper yellow with some lines going through it. This one's a lot more lighter and clear. 
They're actually all very individual. Yes, I do get blue amber from the DR, and I do have some as well. Boom. That one's number nine, I think. And then, did I show this one yet? Let's call this number 10. It's actually might be my favorite one yet. Clearest little B in amber right there. What's up, Diopo? What's up, Ginny? How's your guys' day going? Little stingless B in amber. This one is a cab as well, so good to be put into jewelry. And then the last piece, let's call this number 11. No, not bad, not great. It's a cab, but it's on the back of the cab. All right, so those are the stingless bees that we have for right now. Oh, wait, no, we have three more. We have three more. Number 12, which, ooh, I like number 12. Very clean and succinct. Very clean little piece. Stingless bee you can see on both sides. Good preservation. This one's good, especially for jewelry. That could be a pretty good one. Thank you for the bears, William. We love the gifts. It helps the family. That's gonna be piece number 12, I believe. And then last but not least, oh, two more. 12, 13 here. Piece number 13, little, is that even a B? Actually, don't think that's a B. Past 13 and 14. Uh, you can buy right here on the live feed. Just comment take on any piece you want. Comment TK, that's the best way to do it. And that, yep, yeah, that's it for these guys. And that's it for the bees. So last chance if you guys want any of these, or if you want to see some again, I like number one. I like number five. This one, this one's, this one's probably my favorite. This is probably the ones that I would take. This is probably the one I would take if I was going to choose. Boom, nice full body, clear inclusion. No, no, Nothing obscuring the view of him, which is really important. All right, so I'm gonna put these back. Last call. Auntie Dar, yeah, pretty much everything's available unless, unless I take it to my personal collection, which I do very frequently. Uh, but yeah, feel free to just comment TK for take. Comment TK on the PC you want, and then I invoice on PayPal. So the, the way it works for anybody wondering, you take the PC you want here on the live feed, you gotta message me your email address, and then I'll invoice on PayPal, and we ship on Friday, and you'll get it Monday or Tuesday if you're in the United States. Neighbor. Dude, that neighbor seems chill. So do you have all the pieces up somewhere, or do we need to catch them on the live? You just gotta catch them on the live, but we also have a website. So this is this is the amber that we have on the live feed, which is a lot more. This is the amber we have on the website, but this is really mostly really good insects on the website. Dude, the, the new amber seems chill. <laughs> uh, what we're we gonna do in hydros? These two guys. Moritz Moritz Weissner, are you still here? All right, so in hydros in amber are moving water in amber. They are very rare. It's hard to get a big one. It's hard to get a big one. So we're lucky if we do. Um, let's see. So let's go through a couple of these. If it's 55, it's definitely not really good because we've been through these quite a bit. These are 150 each. Okay, this one's interesting. Uh, this one is a big in hydro. It doesn't move a lot, but it is very big. We can see if it has detritus. These ones are at 150 each. Mm. Thank you, Christy. Yeah, new shipment of, of, of Dominican coming soon. Let me look at this one off camera. Here, the best, probably the best view of it is like this. It's not bad. This is probably one of the better ones we're gonna to get to see today too, cause very low. So yeah, with the when you turn it this way, it's got pretty good movement. It looks like an eye. Actually, the more I do this one, the more I like it. 
and I'm I'm telling you guys right now that's very big for in hydros even though it doesn't move a lot that's a very big size usually they're tiny tiny oh it looks like we might possibly have another in hydro right here oh we do and that's a normal size in hydro okay this one is kind of hitting all the spots and probably will be one of the better ones I have available. So that's like a normal sized in hydro, very small. And then this big one, bum, 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 bum. It looks like an eye. Doesn't it look like a lazy eye or something? I don't see any detritus moving inside, but not bad. That's a cool piece. Okay, so that's 150. Honestly, the more I look at this one, yeah, I'm gonna take this one for my. I'm gonna claim this one for myself in five, four, three, two, one. Take this one is now in my personal collection. The more I look at this one, the more I like it. Quite, quite nice. So this one, uh, where do people find fossilized amber? There's five main locations. Dominican Republic, that's where this is from. Mexico. The Baltic Sea. Myanmar. And Sumatra, Indonesia. Those are our five main locations. And this one, has just been put into the personal. All right, next in hydro at 150. Let's see what we got. Actually, not bad. Actually, this one's not bad. Oh, Frank Ocean, that's so cool. This one's not bad. Uh, two big, two medium in hydros that you can see right there. They're both shaped like perfect circles. Actually, there's more. Wait, how many how many anhydros can you guys see moving? Because I see three. Do I have pendant shapes? I do, actually, yeah, from Mexico. I have Mexican pendants. Like, just, just a pendant that's drilled. And they don't have, like, much bugs or anything, but they're, like, 12 each, I think. Hakim, if you want to order some, just take... You got to comment take on the live feed. Or comment... TK comment comment TK for take on the on the live feed and then the piece that you take is yours you got to send me your email address I'll invoice you on PayPal and then I ship on Friday and you get your piece Monday or Tuesday if you're in the United States shipping is five in the States 25 plus international there's that one for 150 Next one, this one's really clear. This one's got a really clear little sphere in hydro. Not bad. This one's at 150. This one's at 150. That's that's from the 150 bag. There's that one too. I didn't like that one. That one's at 55. Um, oh, we still have our 200 bag. We have a few pieces in the 200. So um, these are going to be the most high end in hydros that I have right now. Let's see. Uh, do you have any neat flowers or feathers? I have flowers, yes. I have some neat little flower petals. Like a full flower, we've only seen one ever. But we have some flower petals. Alright, two hundreds. Let's see what we got. This, these are our big boys. These are our crazy anhydros. Ooh, look at that bubble already right there. Uh-oh. If I move this, oh, that's what I'm talking about, you guys. That is what we want in an hydro. That's a good grade. 
You guys see that bubble just move in there? That's a good one. This one's at 200. Ooh, I kind of want to take it for myself. It looks like the piece, it looks broken, but it's not because it's actually polished in here. Oh, and there's, ooh, there's, there's other tiny anhydros that move differently. You see how they move differently? They're not synchronized. We like that. Oh, man, is that something solid in there? Ooh, this piece is interesting. Very interesting. Dang. Oh, I think I see some detritus in there. Do you guys see stuff move? Look inside of the bubble. That's Oh, there's tons. <gasps> Ryan, don't do it. Ryan, don't do it. Microscope. Microscope time. Let's see what's in there. Could, could there be life? Could there be... Bacteria? Don't do it, Ryan. Don't do it. Don't claim it for your personal collection, Ryan. I really want to. Moving detritus is my favorite thing in, in hydros. All right, here we go, here we go. You guys ready? Boom, tumbling, tumbling. Oh, that's fun. This one's at 200. And yeah, I'm probably Oh, man. I bet you if I move it around too much, that stuff will crumble down into, like, dust or something. It probably crumbles to pieces the more it moves. Oh, yeah, smaller in hydro below. It must have been a very rainy, rainy day. Does this one have detritus as well? It does. Double piece. What is this? Is this tiny and hydro? Oh, let me find one more piece in this piece that I wanted to show you. Mm. These bubbles as well. Not as crazy though. Small piece, big and hydro. I'm gonna claim it for myself in five, four, three to one personal collection double detritus take I was the first to comment TK double detritus Dominican the double detritus Dominican who would have thought thank you on that otherwise I will forget what I paid for it hold on all right the personal collection is growing today it's bursting look at it. it's getting too big for its britches where's my other one my other personal collection. Show wink. The personal collection continues to grow. May I see the one for 55? Absolutely, but uh, it's not that good. I will be frank with you. Trying to find it. It's like you can't even find it. It's probably it's it's kind of like a dud, or maybe there's just a tiny. Yeah, see, there's like the world's smallest in hydro right there. Not a fan. It's hard to even see. It's hard to see even with the loop. 
It's cool in person. It's a teensy one. Can you go over the flower petals too? Absolutely. Flip it back over, I saw a tiny channel. Was it this thing up here? On the rigget, this? On here? Oh, this? I think you're talking about this up here. Being that guy? Yeah, unfortunately he doesn't move. There's a little mosquito. Ooh, nice little nice little mosquito or maybe a fly. Let's see what is it. I mean, cool piece, cool piece for what it is. It's a very clear fly. That one might be good under the microscope. Very very clear fly. Wowzers. Uh, how can you see if it's real? Shine a UV light on it. This piece is 55. It has the world's tiniest in hydro. And um, here is a cab. Here's an interesting cab. So this is probably the best in hydro cab ever. That's a pretty good one. This piece is at 200. It's a very good cab if you wanted to like make a piece of jewelry or something. It's not really calling my name. And then this guy, this one. Okay, this one's pretty interesting. This one has multiple in hydros, and some of them are filled with like weird colors. And I think those are seeds. It looks like we have some sort of seed pods along with the in hydros here. And once again, this is one of our bigger ones. That looks pretty cool. Actually, actually, we're gonna have to examine that seed a little closer. I think I see something else too. Soup bones, yeah, I mean, and in hydro, like a big one is really hard to find because I go through amber like every single day of the year and I only find a handful a year. How does it work? Just comment, comment TK to take, comment TK. Like that. It means take, but comment TK to take any piece you want. Prices will change all throughout the live feed. It always depends on the piece. This one's at 200. This is a very good grade in hydro with some mysterious inclusions. Actually, multiple in hydros. So, Grace Costa, yeah. Um, that is interesting. I do ship to Canada. It's 25. Shipping costs 25 for me to get it to Canada. That is a very unusual inclusion. Almost. Looks like that one's like piercing the other one or something. I wonder if they're connected. It's probably some sort of seed. Maraquin taking this one. Very good claim. Very good claim. It's a very, very interesting seed inclusion. And I think there's two. There's that. There's another one that looks really similar. This piece has some mysteries for sure. And then what are all these little squiggly things? Yeah, good claim Maraquin. This piece is going to you. Very good claim. Bunch of weird little squigglies. Quite unusual. Those squigglies are quite unusual. And I'm starting to think that it's something that was emitted by this plant material. It's probably associated with these seeds. And then let's not forget what brought us to this piece in the first place. There's multiple in hydros. Nice piece. Spermatosa. <laughs> Dang, but it, it does kind of look like that in a sort of weird way. It's like, I think these are the seeds of life. There's that in hydro, and there's a couple more. Ooh, look at that in hydro. It look, looks like it's like dried up or something. And it moves, ooh, it moves a little more jumpily, which I like. Interesting. Juxtaposition, because these two in hydros are perfect spheres. These are, these are expensive because of uh, what's in it. The amber itself is not necessarily expensive, but the fossils inside of the amber, like in hydros, insects, or plants, are super rare, and those are what's valuable. So Mary Quinn, let me write you down. Good take.
That one is going to you. Do you want a display case with it? I can uh, include a display case if you'd like. Oh, this was the 55er. And let's put Ameriquins in a little bag right now. Bada bink, bada boop, there you go. Okay, so those are, yeah, definitely some of the best in Hydros. This one's kind of bunk. Um, yeah, I'm going to pass on that one because it's not really that great. Ooh, didn't see this one. Hold on, one more. So this water was trapped inside of this amber 20 million years ago. Aha, uh -huh, this one looks like it has so much potential, but it's not really moving. Let's see if, if I smack it. Let's see if I smack it. If it moves, because that happens sometimes. Oh, three! It became three! Did you guys see that? Oh, it just became two! Oh, wow! I've never seen that before. You guys just you guys just witnessed a first. Like, ever. Like, I've never even heard of that happening before. Whoa! Oh, did it just happen again? I looked away for a second. Oh, we gotta do that again. We definitely gotta do that again. That was crazy, and now it looks like it's moving even less. Yeah, these, this one's at 200. That one was very weird, that was very weird. We're gonna smack it, here we go. Where's my mic? It didn't, Oh, it did actually, Oh, look at that, look at that. I think I see the detritus in there too. We're gonna have to microscope this piece. <gasps> this is like a magic trick in Hydro. They've, ne they've never, never, never seen that be hap happen before. Whoa, and then it seems to be loosening up. They're, they're moving a little further than before. Watch them recombine. Watch this. Bing. All right, we got to microscope this piece. Whoa. Kind of magic in hydro. Kind of, yeah. That is a very interesting piece. Like, off the bat, I wasn't actually going to recommend this piece because... It wasn't really moving that much, but now it seems like... The little bubbles have like a more of a pathway than the big bubble. Such a weird piece. There's our detritus. Tumbling, tumbling. Such a weird piece. Okay. Oh, Morris Weitzner taking this one. This one's going to you. Good claim. Very good claim. Very interesting piece. Very interesting. And I was so I was so interested in that I didn't even examine the rest of the piece to see if there's anything else. Just looks like detritus inside other other than the in hydro. Look and now it's kinda like Whoa, it really changes. Interesting. Okay, so smacking amber. I know it's like who who would have thought it was so simple to make Jurassic Park? You just gotta smack the amber out. Morris, this one's going to you. Oops. Moritz, that one's going to you. Let's put it in a little bag. And then all pieces will come with a, a locality card that will be like this, basically. Very good. Let's see what's up next. Okay, plants are up next. So who's been waiting patiently for plants? I, somebody wanted to see some flowers. Would we have flower petals or leaves? Honeybee. How is the age determined? Miles. It's determined basically by where where it comes from. Um, the fossil record, the age of the deposit around it, argon dating, and other things. Take 55, Grace Costa, you want the 55? Absolutely, I got that one for you. All right, hold on. I have 55. Got caught, it, got, it got put in the 200 bag on accident. 
There we go. This one's going to nice Moritz. Enjoy. And then this one's going to Grace Costa. So I already explained to you how it works. Just send me a message with your email address in it. I'll invoice you on PayPal and then ship on Friday. Dominican Hydro. And what else was there in there? It was... There's a little insect in there, wasn't there? Yeah, I see a little fly. Yeah, a little fly. I think there actually might be a f two flies in there. There you go, that one's going to you. And then, pause real quick. Shout out to our sponsor. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll send me some free Canada Dry or something. When I say shout out to our sponsor, I mean that I'm not actually sponsored in, in any way, shape, or form. I just get thirsty on the lives, and this is like my little, my little drink. There we go. Oh, and you guys want to see something fun? Real quick, I got to do something. Um, on my YouTube which you guys should subscribe to, is called Amber Bugs. And yes, I just uploaded that live stream from like a, a month or a week ago. Cause actually people watch the live streams on YouTube. So you guys can watch them too, if you want. Let me just make sure I'm not gonna expose anything here. And then Ah, why you gotta close like that? Pin question. I'll answer your question in a second. Come on. Ah, it's not freaking working. All right, whatever. Probably because I'm live streaming right now. Um, okay, Spazio, is there any place in South America where you can find Amber? I'm a geology student. From Argentina. Okay, so Spazio, I want to answer this question in Spanish, if you don't mind. Uh, Colombia tiene harto copal. Y el copal no es ámbar, pero es muy similar. Y mucha gente dicen que es ámbar. Pero en Colombia, como hay mucho para descubrir en el área de... Copal en Colombia, pero creo que no sea ámbar. No sean fósiles muy viejos, son recientes. Y bueno, and like, like I was saying, Colombia has a lot of copal, but it's not amber. But it's pretty cool, it's very similar. That's it in South America? No. Your, your best bet would be Dominican Republic. That's your best bet, either Dominican Republic or Mexico. Spazio, you, you want to look into Dominican Republic for the best fossils, the best amber. Look into Mexico for very interesting amber and people. Muchas gracias, dinosaur emoji person. Appreciate it. I like Spanish. I like to speak Spanish. Have fun speaking Spanish. All right, let's see some plants. Let's see some plants. 45. This guy's a little tiny leaf. You're welcome, Spazio. Colombia and uh, Colombia, Dominican Republic, and Mexico. Don't forget Mexico. Don't forget Mexico. Don't sleep on Mexico, like they say. Tip of a leaf. Very uh, not not our most impressive plant inclusion, but it is what it is. This one, this one, I think I think this one's kind of going viral right now on like YouTube or something. This one's at 200. This one is, okay, so that's a flower petal from the tree that made the amber. It's called the alga robo tree. But no, but yes, but the alga robo tree is the tree that made the amber and that's a that's a one petal of the flower and it has three petals 
this is a very, very good piece right here. I'm trying to show you guys like the veins and the leaves, but it's not really showing that well. But it's a very nice piece. So this is a flower petal in amber, one single flower petal. Right there, you guys see that? There we go, that's a little bit better. Now you can see it. That's a beautiful flower petal. You, they're very delicate, so usually they get crumpled up really fast and you don't get to see them in much detail. So this one got laid out really nicely. And I'm sure you guys have laid out things in your like in your notebooks or your journals before where you like lay a flower, flower petal down and then you gotta um, smush it for a while. This one was lucky enough to have sort of that going on. So that's a really nice piece. And it looks like a tip of a leaf, a tip of a blade of grass coming down from the top there too. This one's at 70. I actually like this one quite a bit. Uh, not a leaf, I'm not exactly sure what part of the plant it is, but you will see it very clearly. How much in quantity? What do you mean, wholesale? Wholesale is kind of hard. Boom. Maybe that might be flower buds. Chaos, I see you saying T-O. Mariquin, I see you on take. But Chaos, were you taking this one? Because Chaos was first if she was taking this one. But if not, then Mariquin, I think it's yours. Or, or are you guys talking about this one at... This one's 70. Mariquin, okay, so. Oh, it's, clo it's closed flower petals. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so Mariquin, you wanna take this one? This is an excellent piece. Excellent, excellent piece. And I think, yeah, I think there's a video on YouTube doing really well with this piece right now. <laughs> Maria, no worries. Okay, so Mariquin, this one's going to you. Let me add this to your cart. Algarrobo flower. Is that one for sale? Yeah. Um, all of the ones right now on the table are for sale. So I just put this one in your cart. That's the Algarrobo flower petal. That's a nice one. This one. Wait, what is this one at? 70. This one's at 70. This one's at 70. Closed flower petals, I believe. It's kind of a dark inclusion, hard to see the details. We might have to go under the microscope. Chaos Supervisor, Dominican Republic or Myanmar. Yeah, Chaos, I got the best way and I want to show you right now. So what you want to do is get your UV light. Do you have a UV light? You want to get a um, dark room or dark-ish room. And you're gonna to wanna to put your pieces together, your pieces in question. And let me find a Myanmar piece. That's a Myanmar piece for sure. Nice, okay, so this is how you tell the difference between Myanmar amber and other kinds of amber. This is our Myanmar piece right here. And then you see how this UV light has two rings? There's a circle here and there's a circle here. You wanna get the amber within the second circle. And you'll see the Myanmar shines a little more purple than the rest. I don't know if, I'm, if it's really showing it. Let me see if I can try and show it. When it's directly on it, it does look a little different. It's, it's kind of a different blue. But it's like, uh, I don't know if it's showing really well, but do this and you'll see that the Myanmar pieces kind of have like a purplish glow where the other ones don't start to light up yet. And then once you hit it directly, everything lights up. But Myanmar lights up when it's like in the secondary ring. Does that make sense, Maria? And that's actually a way to avoid a pretty big scam because if you're ever gonna buy amber wholesale from the Dominican Republic, you're gonna to want to know that. So, you know, ironically, this is a piece of Myanmar with leaves in it and some blue. So let's check out this one real quick. So Myanmar amber um, is, from, is much older than all the other ambers. This is from the time of the dinosaurs. This is 100 million years old. 
Amber from Myanmar, which is a country in Asia, is really good for insects as well. Oh, and then I think I see a very clear insect. This was actually um, 80. I like this one. I like this one a lot. This one's at 80. I'm liking this one, especially not, not because of the leaf, but because of that guy. Ooh, pretty dang good. Looks kind of like a roly-poly mixed with like a millipede. And then there's our leaf right there. A little bit tattered, but he is there, and you can see the veins and the, the shapes of the leaf. Looks like a blade of grass running right through the middle there. I like this one. That's a really good insect right there. It's a very rare species. In fact, I've never seen that species before. So I don't even know what it is. Oh, tiny little leaf right there. So even though we just jumped amber localities, I do recommend this piece. This one's at 80. And then if we, let's see, let's backlight it. See if the veins come out. Yeah, the leaf, the leaf pops a little more. Let's hit it with a UV light. Boom, good UV. Beautiful, bright reaction. No flow lines to speak of, but we do have the live edges there, which is a good sign of authenticity. We can do the salt water test too, if you guys want to see. Real amber floats in salt water. Fake amber sinks. So this is this is some soupy this is some soupy super salty water. Bing, and it floats. And then fake amber, like this. Bing, it sinks. That water is getting kind of murky. Definitely gonna have to change that. <laughs> Anthony, I would wait. I would wait. Make sure you got make sure you got your all your necessities covered first. Yeah, this one's at 80 bucks. Leaves and blue. Oh, so it's bluish, which means uh, I don't really see much blue coming out of it. I wouldn't say it's blue. What's up? What's up, Angelica? Welcome to the show. Good to have you here. Can we look at the twenties? Yes. After we finish with these uh, plants, we can go to the twenties. Ah, scope. PGM. That was a salt water test because amber floats in salt water, and plastic fake amber sinks in salt water. Ooh, AAA Myanmar. I mean, I would call this like A minus A grade Myanmar for sure. Yeah, I'd just give it a solid A. Nothing wrong with it, so it's not A minus, but there's it, but it's not perfect. Triple A would be just pure, pure yellow amber. I'm surprised nobody snagged this one up yet. I'm really surprised nobody snagged this one up. Nice, big leaf. Those weird little seeds that we see some around sometimes. I know, I'm like, oh, little little extra leaf right there. I'm so, su I'm so surprised that nobody's snagging this one up. I know, that insect is weird. It looks like a roly-poly, but it's really long. This one's at 80, 80 bucks, 80 USD. And then we have a blade of grass running horizontally through the piece which you see here in front of you. Doodly doodly doodly. Not a bad piece at all. I know, I'm so, I'm so surprised nobody's taken this one. That's a nice piece. Off to the side you go. If I take, do I gotta pay right now or do I got time? The bear, no, you gotta pay right now. All invoices due within 24 hours. Next piece, 175. This one's at 175, and this one has multiple Algarrobo flowers. Ooh, and some stamens. This one's a nice one. This one's nice. Let's take an up close and personal look. I know, that funky little bug is freaking awesome. Myanmar is really good for bugs like that. Centipede, millimede type bugs. Myanmar is really good. This one's, no, this one's at 175 right here. 
This is a Dominican plant inclusion with multiple alg algarrobo flowers. Man, that bubble in the middle looks like it wants to move, but it won't. There's one right there. Ooh, little insect. Frank, um, gotta give the people what they want. Keith Sturgeon, super good take. I was wondering when somebody was gonna take that one, so. Uh, Frank, we'll go to slabs after this. We, we had some requests for plants, so we're gonna go to slabs. I think this one was waiting for Keith, for sure, because uh, this is a really good piece for AD. So Keith, let me write you down. Very good piece. I was yelling at the screen. Take, take. Fifty-five for this one. Don't get that one. That was annoying. Fifty-five for this one. Base of flower, closed flower. It could be interesting. Dominican Amber, 20 million years old. This one's a cab, so it's ready to be fit into jewelry. Let's see if it's a really good piece or not. Oh, we met our gift goal, you guys. Thank you for the gifts. Oh, wow. It almost, almost looks like the flower actually might be opened, but in a little bit hard to see position. Achilia, welcome to the show. How you guys doing? Well, how you doing, Achilia? Tika Frog, nice. Well, how do, how do you like the blues, though? The blues are so beautiful. Who here has blues from me? Blue Dominican Amber from, from me. 150, nice mosquito in this guy, and just a piece of... Oh, it's a seed, a seed in a mosquito. Let me show you this one, but I'm going to um, set up a new goal, you guys, for gifts. Let's see, what's like a, a donut? That sounds fun. Let's get 20 donuts, you guys. 20 donuts is our new goal. Pinned. Boom. My new press on is Museum Clarity Seed and Mosquito. The mosquito is really good. The seed... Actually, does look really, really good. Oh, wait, I think that might be corporalite. It's not a seed, actually. Not a seed. I think that's co co coprolite, which is termite poop. Interesting. And then our mosquito, beautiful mosquito, nonetheless. Gorgeous mosquito, nonetheless. It's a poo. <laughs> it's a poo. Yeah, okay, so that one, uh, very cool, but probably not not great for 150. Another 200, very big leaf in this one. Mosquito might have dino stuff. 125 for the two Alga Robo flowers. I do like this one. Some very weird little twig in here. That's a very oddly angular piece. Very oddly angular. Oh wait, what are we gonna do next? Either slabs or 20s? Ah, that's a beautiful cab. Oh, hold the phone, wait a second. This one's at 180. This is a beautiful cab. <gasps> it's an insect on a twig. But it looks like he got lifted off. Do these go up in value over time? Yeah, I suppose so, considering that the supply is always becoming scarcer. Mariquin taking this one. That is a beautiful cab. Oh my god, Mariquin's taking this one. I wonder if he like just jumped off or something. That's a gorgeous piece. 
this one's actually really next level because it's just such a clear little twig and such a clear little insect. It's funny that his legs are not actually holding on to it. Oh, verify to continue. Verified. His legs are not actually holding on to it, but he was right there. That's a nice one. Let's microscope it too before I write you down, Mariquin. The rarest thing to find would probably be like an animal, like a, well, like a full, like a lizard. Dang, that's nice. Beautiful wings. Beautiful twig. That slight red glow around these twigs is caused by oxidation. And that's the oxygen turning the amber red. And it's also a very good sign of authenticity because they will never have oxidation in plastic. And then look how these twigs are not oxidized. These ones are. It really is a snapshot into the into the ancient Dominican forest. Oh, that's such a beautiful one. That's what I think too. It caught on departure. I think he just took off, and then it just globbed off. Or maybe maybe the amber like pulled him off too. It's just this one's got something about it. And Mariquin, you'll see in real life. I don't even think the camera's doing this one, Justin. Justice, Justin, Justin Timberlake. I don't think the camera's doing this one justice. For as pretty as it is, it's like a million times better in real life. This one I like a lot. Perfect little cab too, because it's like flat on the back, and it would be just amazing set into jewelry because you see it still pops with the back on it, because it's so clear. But it still would be better probably with a clear back as opposed to like a, a solid back or something. Mariquin, this one's really nice. Oh yeah. Flow lines, uh, UV reactivity. Let us hit it with the with the with the UV light. Boom! There's your flow lines. Love that. And as usual, the insects are kind of elegantly curved along the flow lines because they get captured along the layers. So nice, really good one. Twig inclusion cap. There you go. Mariquin, that one's going to you. You got three really nice pieces. This one kind of takes the cake. You know that saying in French, je ne sais quoi? They're like, when like you say, like it has that special something. They say like, oh, this piece has that je ne sais quoi, which means like, I don't know what, it has like, that piece has that. Uh, 175, very interesting clear little structure in this. Interesting plant structure in this for sure. Quite odd. What is Grace Costa, hey, if you wanna watch this all day, I'm uploading these live feeds to YouTube. So follow me on my YouTube channel and you can watch the live feeds and it actually would help out a lot because we get paid per view and maybe someday, maybe someday I will actually get paid by YouTube. At the moment I do not get, I do not get paid, but um, Amber Bugs is my channel. It was a 6.5 blue eyed finance bro, what? What are you talking about? Keith, oh, you did? Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Cause, because it's crazy. Let me show, I can, let me see if I can show you guys. I know this might be kind of like Inception, so view channel, um, videos. I upload a bunch of videos. I'm always trying to make videos. I gotta make the, I gotta make the thumbnails. Gotta make the videos. I'm gonna make all these videos, right? And look at 800 views, that's, that's not enough to get paid, but it's good, I guess. 23 views, that's nothing. 89 views, that's nothing, right? And then go all the way down to way back, like last year, because I, I did this for a while and then I stopped. Um, this one, in, Insects and Amber Hall, both, both of these two, these are live streams. 
This one has only 69 views, but it's got 24 like hours of watch time or something like that. Like these two live stream videos, this one and this one, they have more watch time than all my other videos combined, even though they have very few views. And let me see if I can show you guys something else. Okay, so YouTube Studio. Look. Do do do. Twelve hours. So that 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 video was watched for twelve hours, which is way more than any other one I have, except for this one. 27 hours of watch time. That's a lot more because all my other ones are like 30 minutes of watch time or something. And I was like, whoa, this is the easiest one to upload too. And then look at how far you got to go to earn. So I need 4,000 hours of watch time or 10 million shorts views to be able to get any money from YouTube. So right now it's just a labor of love and hopefully it'll pay off in the future but any help you guys want to help if you guys want to support the channel comment like best wex said he fell asleep to it that's freaking awesome put it put it play it on your computer and just leave it looping all night i'll get like a a, a nickel or something <laughs> that would be awesome so yeah any help um any help helps and this is you this is going to be youtube inception because you're going to be able to watch me talk about being on YouTube on my TikTok live stream video of YouTube. On YouTube from TikTok. Boom. Okay. Um, any more affordable pieces? You guys did want to go to some 20s and some slabs, right? That's not an affordable piece. That one... Well, lots more I could go through, but we're going to pause. We'll stop on the plants right there. A bunch of medium grade ones. A bunch of little medium grade ones. The big piece? Okay, let's see the big piece. The, that would be this one. Go to 40s and say they're 20s. Let's not and say we did. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so really big leaf in this, and I'm gonna say that the good, the bad, and the ugly. Really big leaf, not very clear. Um, really big leaf, but not super clear preservation. But I mean, that is a big leaf. That is a big honking leaf, and you can tell what it is. But it won't be good under the microscope. On the other hand, do we have any insects or anything in here? Vanity crystals, thank you. If you want Ryan getting excited over Amber ASMR, watch our videos on YouTube. Put them on all your devices and go to work and <laughs> play on repeat. I do that for some of my favorite YouTubers sometimes, like because uh, because I like to surf. So my favorite YouTuber is a surfer. And I, uh, I'll just put his video on because it's like 30 minutes long and I'll go buy a piece of pizza outside. And This one this one's cool. Any lizard tails or weird stuff? No, but I have a package coming of some really expensive pieces I bought from Myanmar, including three scorpions. But it's probably going to be like a month before those arrive. Along with coffee amber. I don't know if Yvonne's here, but we definitely um, we're getting a big batch of coffee amber. This one, still not my fave. This one at 220. He's cool. 
The coffee amber is coming. It took my supplier about like two months to get me a batch of, I think I got like 50 coffee pieces. It took her two months to find it. Ooh, super detailed blade of grass on this one. And it's all ripped up. Okay. I see what's good about this one. Really good preservation. Really good preservation on this one. Twisted. Ooh, nice. Yeah, we actually have some, some big, three big shipments coming in a sense. Okay, we got a big shipment from Myanmar with coffee amber and three scorpions. We also have a shipment of green amber coming from Mexico. That was not cheap. I'm hurting right now from that. But that's probably actually at FedEx right now. So we might be able to see that one on tomorrow's live feed. Boom. Very pretty little blade of grass. Coffee amber from Myanmar. Ah, oh, there's the hairs on it. That helps keep slugs away. Roxy, no, coffee amber is a color of amber. It's a stone. It's not a drink. You can't, you cannot drink or eat it but it's the color of coffee. This is an interesting one. Yes, Roxy, yes. I could show you an example in a second, but I gotta get to $20 pieces and slabs for the people who are asking. Because I've been... Take, set off a running, but I'll take my time. Friend of the devil is a friend of mine. If I get home before the daylight, I just might catch some sleep tonight. No dumb questions, you guys. Ask away. Ask anything. I got two reasons why I cry away each lonely night. $20. You guys, we're gonna... I'm gonna throw a discount on this. I would love to do these, like, bulk side on scene because... These are pretty picked through, guys. I'm going to tell you guys, don't get your hopes up for any big insects in here, because these are honestly pretty, 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 pretty pick through here. So let's do a lightning round, right? Let's do a lightning round. I'm just going to number them as I go. These are going to be, I'm going to do them at 18 each, right guys? And number one's actually pretty dang good. These are 18 each. Number one, little insect in there. It's a cab. Oop. Not bad. Actually, not bad. Angelica's taking this one. Let me write you down. Frank, that is a very good idea. I should do that. Oh. Look, I just marked myself. Will it come off? Why, yes, it will. We are clean. Nothing cleanses like fire. Does anybody know what that what movie that's from? Nothing cleanses like fire. What's the UK postage now? 25. 25 bucks for UK. Piece number the new piece number 1, tiny but very clear little flying insect in a cab. Actually, I do like this piece. In Frank Ocean, n no. It's from a very obscure movie. It's from a very obscure movie from a long time ago, from 80s or the 60s or something. Super obscure movie. But I will give you a hint. They did a remake of this movie with Will Smith. That one, what's the movie with Will Smith where he's like invincible? Giant piece of amber, but this one's maybe a little bit scratched. Omega Man. Oh, Mariquin. That's the name of the movie. That's the original. Omega Man. You've seen it? Boom. Flow lines for days on this one. And they have like, the, it has like a cult and like clones and stuff. Jimmy Carr taking this one. This is, I'm hitting it with the UV light Jimmy Carr just so you know, because I know you like blue amber. So I just want to, want to make sure that, um, you know, it's, it's blue because it's under the UV light. It's not like true blue amber. 
but it has awesome flow lines. These are at 18 each. This was this is by far the biggest one in this lot, but we're just going through the $20 pieces and I'm just doing them at 18 because they're pretty picked through. Jimmy Carr likes the flow lines, me too. It's a good piece for flow lines. Jimmy Carr 226 Dominican Inclusion 18. Do you have any bigger ones? Oh yeah, we got tons of bigger pieces of amber. We're gonna do slabs in a second. Look at those. Those are all big polished slabs. Those are all big pieces of raw. Um, we're looking at uh, Dominican pieces, guys. Uh, Christy, you said Myanmar, but it's Dominican. Just wanna make, just wanna make that clear for you guys. All right, piece number, we'll call this piece number three. Frank, you're looking for a larger polished. All right, we're gonna go to those next. Piece number three, it's a cab, uh, it's not a cab. Nice, nice piece. Piece number four. Oh, that looks like a seed. That might actually be a seed, but it reached the side of the amber, so it's kind of hard to see. Well, it could possibly be a seed, kind of looks like it. it, looks pretty cool, that's piece number four. Piece number five, two in the plink. <laughs> two in the plink takes number four, right here. So, two in the plink, I need your email address. Please message me your email address. No worries, Christy. Oh, how's your puppy doing? Two in the pink. Uh, Dominican inclusion seed for 18. So yeah, um, message me your email address. I'll invoice you on PayPal, I'll ship on Friday. Next piece. Uh, kind of very thin, flat piece with kind of a cool, pretty, eh, not, not really that cool of an inclusion, just a little something there. That's piece number four. Piece number five. Uh, that looks like a pretty big insect for the 20 section, but he's also very jumbled up. Piece number five. Piece number six. A beetle right there. You guys see that little beetle? Piece number seven. A plant hopper with his feet out right there. Piece number seven. These are 18 each. You can see the flow lines on that one. Piece number seven. Piece number eight. Some flow lines and some smokiness going through this one. Oh, is that a tiny little spider? This might be a good microscope piece. Here's a 60X microscope. Ah, tiny little baby spider. This one's at 18, that's piece number eight. Piece number nine. Oh, I think we got another spider again. Oh, piece number nine, highly recommended. Somebody should get piece number nine. That's very good for $18. Very good for $18. User 140, welcome to the show. Taking number nine. Taking the recommendation. User 140 took the recommendation, got the good piece. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Next piece, this is the new piece number nine, a little bit bigger. Frank, there's a very good suggestion. If anybody is new here getting a piece and you don't have a loop, it's best to get a loop with a piece. New piece number nine, kind of a bigger cab. Piece number 10, this is a good one. It's a cab. It's a perfect little button cab, which people love button cabs. And it's got a clear fly right on the top and then another fly in the back. The one in the back will not be as good as the one on the top because 
if you put it into jewelry, you'll pretty much only see the one on the top. But that's a cool one. You can see how clear he is. Frank, I'll get to the larger pieces next. Angelica taking this one. Very clear insect. Good one. Angelica, this is going to you. That's it for the 20s. That's it for the 20s for right now. We're gonna do some slabs for Frank. For a new Frank. Not Frank Ocean. Just username Frank. Alright, so here's the deal. These are Dominican amber slabs. Some of the best amber in the world. Dominican amber is exceedingly beautiful, very pretty. A lot of these are polished on one side and then raw on the other. And these are ones that we've already opened. I'll go down on the price on these ones a little bit just to get them moving. I'll do these at two a gram. And then the unboxed ones, which we have in droves over here, their price, these are the same things. These are just un unboxed. These are 250 a gram. So I'm gonna do a discount on the open ones there can be insects in these, but it's kind of rare because what the way that I get these, I pay my guy in the Dominican Republic to buy some amber and cut it up and then slab it. So if he finds an insect in there, he usually takes that insect aside and then sells it to me for more expensive later. That's not what he's supposed to do. I'm supposed to get all the insects and it's not fair, but there's no way to stop him because he's in the workshop slapping them all up. And then all of a sudden he gets insects with slabs and it costs like a hundred each and it's like, oh, where'd you get those? From the slab job that I paid for. But that's just the nature of the business. There's no way I could stop that. I have to front all the money anyways. So it gets pretty tricky out here. Um, without further ado, three Dominican slabs will be unboxed. But we do still get insects in here, and we've also gotten one or two really good in hydros in here. Like, really good. Um, Christy, I'll show a coffee in a second. So these go at 250 a gram, no matter what's inside. We are unboxing these. First one to say take gets it. <laughs> that one just jumped out. Let me get the price first. Let me get the price real quick. Get the scale all warmed up. This one's at 25 even, and this is actually a really pretty one. User 140 taking this one. Vanity Crystals, I see you, but user, one, user 140 was first. You see that tiny black dot right above my finger? It's, it's uh, setting off my spidey sense. So fingers crossed. Ah, what is that? User 140, this one's going to you. What is that? Let us see if we can get a good angle on this guy. Ah, but we can't because of the way the microscope is. Oh, wait, maybe we can. Aha! Uh -huh, it is an insect. The tiniest of insects. Nearly microscopic. Hey, Michelle from, <laughs> from F-Book. Good, good. Welcome here. Welcome. Uh, you've you've found me once again. Welcome, Michelle. Things go things go well here. So this one's at 25. User 140. This one's going to you. See, you guys, I have a sixth sense for insects and amber. I looked at it and I could already tell that that tiny black dot was an insect. And I'm looking at the phone screen. I'm looking at the phone screen. I'm not even looking at the piece in real life. You are my sunshine. How long have you followed me for? Did you just follow me? Next up, next piece. This one's smaller, so it's gonna be less than 25 bucks. Let's see. Ooh, nice piece. Really mostly polished on, on this. User 140, mostly polished, but then there's just this one live edge. 
user 140 gets this one too. That's two in a row. That is eight grams. Eight times 2.5 is 20 exactly. And then William, I saw you too. Uh, yeah, it's it, user 140 got it first, William. They're all still on the screen. And then last but not least, this one looks like it's going to be above $25. Let's see. Okay, so first off, starting on the back, the live edge here. Nice and yellow. Let's see, let's flip it around. Boom, Gemster. Gemster, I just jumped out of my chair because... I could tell that this one wants to have it in Hydro, and I see you one. So this one's going to my personal collection in five, four, and William gets it. And William gets this one, and then user 140, you are after William. Actually, look at, oh! How many? How many in Hydros are there? Oh, oh, there's so many. Oh, there's like a whole trail of them. Oh, that's what I was just saying. Okay, William definitely got the score of the day, for sure. User 140 is angry. He wants he wants me to check the tickets. Revote, recount the votes. <laughs> Whoa, William! This is a, this is the score of the of a while, I would say. Uh huh. And they're not like they're not the world's biggest in hydros, but at least two of them are super clear and easy to see. Whoa, and then I bet you, I bet you anything, you see this one in the middle of the screen, I bet you that was a really big in hydro right there. I bet you it popped. I bet you anything it popped. <sighs> okay, so William. William with the slam dunk of the day. This one's 17 grams, so it's 17 times 2.5. That would make 34 plus 8, 42. It's probably actually like 42.50, but I kind of round down. Amber Nessa, uh, just say TK on any piece you want to take a piece. Comment TK to take a piece. TK obviously stands for take. And then William, you just scored the piece of uh, quite a while. What did I say? 42? 17 times 2.5 is 42. That's rounded down, but it's all the same. 40. you walked away and missed that. Okay, so let's see. Um, amber slabs that have been already opened, but they were not purchased that time. I'm throwing a discount on these ones at $2 a gram. So this one, for example, Live Edge cut edge, polished side. <laughs> Two in the pink. I think you see my strategy, don't you? Oh, this one's gonna go into my personal collection. I'm gonna give you guys a fair time to purchase it first. I'm gonna count down from five. Five, four, three, one, mine. <laughs> so this one, wait, what is this one at? This one's at 24, so 12 grams, $24. Chaos Supervisor taking this one. Big chunk of Jemmy Amber. A lot of cut edges on this one. A lot of cut edges. The live edge is when it's still skin. And then the cut edge is this, this, and then you have both polished sides. Really cool piece. Chaos, this one's going to you. Dominican slab. There you go. More unopened. The people want unopened slabs. A poon tycoon. Wow. Uh, Jimmy Carr, you got the piece with the flow lines like 30 minutes ago. But if you're talking about a slab right now, you, you did not just get a slab. Is GH here? Take three of the wrapped ones. Jimmy Carr, okay, cool. 
So Chaos is take three, the wrapped my pick. Chaos, I'm already right off the bat. This cylinder one. This is a, a unusual shape and it's not that big. So Chaos, you're getting that one. This small one's also calling my name. I'm feeling a pretty good polish. I'm feeling a good vibes on this one. And then between these three, feeling the vibes on this one. So uh, they're all three relatively smaller ones. So it's not going to be too, not going to be too much. Oh, my camera's all tilted. Um, I'll just call you Tycoon. I don't want to say your full name. Okay, so Chaos, do you want me to unwrap these now, or do you want to um, get them get them wrapped as a surprise? Okay, I wrote that all dyslexic, but that's okay. Tycoon, yes, your name did catch me off guard, as well as the username above yours, two in the pink. <laughs> Because when you're live feeding, it's like you just read people's usernames and then it's like, oh, I got pranked. What was like the remember the Simpsons? Like Bart would always call them Moe's Bar. Dominican slabs, three pieces. Price unknown. One, two, what was the last one I recommended? I think it was this one. No, it was this one. Okay, so these three are going to Maria. Dun, 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 dun. First one. Oh, nice. There seems to be really good juju with uh, having me pick the pieces. I can just tell. I can already tell what pieces are good. Look at that. Pretty. This, like, sometimes Amber has this really, like, it looks like things are dripping down from level to level. Jimmy Carr, this one's not available. This one's already taken. The, this one and the next two have been pre-taken. Oh, and I think I see a tiny little insect. The slabs are two fifty a gram, so this one is going to cost Chaos Supervisor a grand total of it's twelve grams, twelve twenty four plus six thirty. So this one's at thirty. Can we see it with UV? Good question. There's the UV. Nothing too crazy under UV. User two, user 140, you want two more unopened? All right, let me write this down real quick. So I don't get user 140. I'm just going to call you user 140 for short. Dominican slab, two pieces. Price unknown. You're next. Okay, so next piece. Because I can feel which ones, I can feel if it's polished on both sides, I can feel if it's polished on the edge, I can feel if it has craggy skin, and I know that they, they like to do the really good ones a little bit thicker. Okay, next piece, this is the smallest one. Do, 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 do. Oh, freaking gorgeous. Konyaki. Freaking gorgeous cognac piece. Oh, this one is elegant. We got to get a closer look at this one. This one is very elegant. That's a gorgeous piece of amber right there. This is a Dominican amber slab, 20 million years ago, years old, fossilized tree resin. So nice. William says in hydro, there might be a little in hydro in here. I'm seeing one right here that's not moving, so it might need a little wake up call. And there it is. And now you got a moving in hydro. That's two. That's two moving in hydros we found today. So Maria, second one's really good. That's the second piece and your last piece. Let's unveil it with Oh, and then uh, I think I saw somebody comment they want two for 60. Oh, this one's really, really, really dark, which usually is low grade, but I'm already seeing some green. So we're going to hit it with a flashlight. My light's kind of, my light's kind of weak, but nice green, even a little, not really blue, but this one's a lower grade piece, but it's got a lot of character. Low, little lower grade piece, but it's got a lot of character. It is actually really pretty. The ironic thing, when I say it's a lower grade piece, they're actually prettier 
because they got more character. But as an amber dealer, we usually try to focus on the cleanest, the most yellowest of the gems. Okay, so, so Maria, let's weigh the three of these together. Yeah, that's a nice piece. And they're only 24 grams together, so what's 24 times 2.5? 24, 48 plus 12, 58, 60 exactly. So that's 60. Boom. Tycoon. Nice. Jimmy card, they'll be available in a second. I just got to finish up. I got to get um, user 140 and then Anthony Villarreal wanted uh, some un un open ones. Dominican Slab. Anthony Villarreal, you wanted two for under 60 bucks? You wanted two for under 60 bucks? Because I can just find you those two size pieces. Okay, so one user 140 said pick with the juju. So I'm putting these two pieces back. We're resetting the board. Oh, my light just died, so hold on. Hold up. Because I am a smarty pants and I bought two, yes, two lights so I could continue working when one died. There we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Dominican Amber Slabs. All right, feeling the juju? Juju gathered. Let's pick it out. This guy's calling to me right off the bat. Kind of squarish. This guy's kind of calling to me too. It's two bigger size pieces. It's probably gonna be around 50 bucks total. But these two. Okay, so. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Piece number one. Ooh, actually I wanna put on my close up cam. Piece number one, here we go. Here's the live edge. Here's the live edge. Turn it around. Ooh, what's going on here? It almost looks like coffee amber from Myanmar. Full, interesting color. Oh, I knew the juju was coming on with this one. Something odd. Okay, very unusual. So there's like a layer of something. Let's. This one needs some investigations for sure. This one needs some investigations for sure. Okay, so we got layers. That's what's going on. That top layer right there is clear, and then there's like something underneath it. There's like a layer. Two, yeah, two dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, two dollars and fifty cents a gram. This one's got a lot of layers in it. Interesting. Looks like layers of amber, and then other stuff too. Quite an unusual piece. It does kind of look like toffee or coffee. A lot of detritus. Interesting piece. Interesting piece. Definitely a layer of something interesting in there. You can see it quite clearly. It's not super clear, but pretty good piece. Very unusual color for a Dominican. Very unusual color for Dominican. And I think you'll like exploring that piece, like I just did. Like there's, it's like clear amber, and then the layers underneath it. Oh, check for blue. No, no blues. No blues. That's piece number one. Piece number two is a little bit bigger. Let's see. Uh-huh, okay, I see some reds, some yellows. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that one's so nice. Ooh, that one's really nice and gemmy, and there's a lot going on in here. Looks like a really cool swirl right here. Let's hit it with some UV. This Hona be epic. Let's hit it with some UV. Boom, there's some strange little circular thing, but you can see, you can see those circular lines going through it down here. Jimmy Carr, this one is already pre-spoken for as well. I get, and I got one or two more to do. 
And then they'll be available, Jimmy Carr. Nice piece. Okay, wait, hold on, let me get the proper lighting on this guy. Let's see, let's check him out. It's a pretty big piece too. Check him out with the up close. Oh, you guys, by the way, send donuts. Send donuts, we need donuts. We got a goal of 20 donuts, we've got eight so far. Amber Nessa, I invoiced through PayPal, so, uh, yeah, I invoice through PayPal, and then you pay, and I ship on Friday. Thank you, Tycoon. Thank you, Anthony. I got a donut from each of you guys. Jimmy Carr, it's all good. You can just keep on trying to claim until you get your piece. I know there's, there's 70 people watching here. It's hectic for me. It's hectic for you. You can just keep on claiming. User 140. Let's weigh these guys out. Yeah, so any new any new purchase, any new purchaser, if it's your first time purchasing from me, you gotta send me your email address. This one's 28 grams for these two. 28 times 2.5. Wait, I should do this in my head. 28 times 2.5 is gonna be 56 to start off, plus 14, 56, 56, 70. One more, two. You want one more? I thought you only wanted two pieces. You want one more? Let's get the, little, the corner guy. The corner guy. This guy's a little guy. Don't like the first two so much? I know, yeah. I, you were you were quiet. You're gonna like this one though. This one I like a lot, although I could see why it doesn't really shine. But you're gonna like this one. This one's really nice. This one's really nice. And then last one. Got a little guy. Dun dun dun. dun. Oh, I see some reddish. I see some reddish. You could have some cool colors. Ooh, Jemmy. You're gonna like this guy. Jemmy with the little layers running through it. Good color. Un like a uneven back, so it won't be suitable for like jewelry or anything like that. But nice Jemmy piece. Uh, Del Basel, I have lots of special pieces. In fact, yes. User 140, I hope you like the pieces that you've got. I hope you like these pieces. Oh, this one's got good green secondary color, rich secondary greens. This one's really gemmy and rich. And it looks like it's got some detritus inside, but it's very clear. Could be pebbles or something too. Okay, user 140. Last, the last two were 70. This one's only five grams, so $12. So it's gonna be 82 for the three. Three pieces for 82. Anything with insects? Yes, we do. I don't know if we can get to them today because we've already been live for maybe about two hours. So we're about to be finishing up the show. And user 140, I will say, you might, you might, this piece might be an, an acquired taste. You might learn to love it. It's kind of an interesting one, but it does give me the juju feel. There's something about it that I like. It's very layered. Uh, a user 140, yes, all these will be combined. I just keep them in separate carts because they're not that big, need space. So uh, your invoice will have all these pieces on it. Hey, speaking of tiger's eye, you guys, I have a bag full of really freaking nice tiger's eye that are like $2 a piece. Okay, who's next? Next up is Anthony Villarreal, you still here? We have one more sight unseen claim. Okay, cool. Okay, Anthony Villarreal, what did you want? You wanted two pieces that end up being under $60 total. So that's like two medium sized pieces. Like similar to uh, user 140's last two, but a little smaller. Okay, so Juju Powers summoning. Let's pick a good piece. Let's pick two good pieces. They gotta be on the smaller side. Interesting shape on this one. This one, interesting shape on that one. So I'm picking it and then 
this one. Nice and thick. Mm, I, I'm on the fence about that one, so if I'm, out, if I'm on the fence, that means I'm not feeling the juju. This one I like. Uh, Amber Nessa, oh, let me write you down right now, now that I see your comment. And you'll have to email me your, you have to, sorry, let me repeat that. You'll have to DM me your email address. All right, so you're up after this. Christy, I think that was the one you were gonna pin, huh? Have a go, Jojo. Okay, so. Anthony Villarreal, these two, the Juju definitely felt this one. Something about this one was really, really calling the Juju, so we're going to start off with this one. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you, Frank. You have yourself a good night. Dun da da dun. Ooh, jammy. Super jammy. Nice. Very jammy yellow piece. With a little something on the bottom. I like this piece. Oh, I think I see an insect leg up top. Not too chalk. Oh, look, there's an insect right there. Ooh, nice. There's a little flying insect right there. Species unidentified. I think I see some insect legs at the top. It does get ripped off sometimes. That's nice, nice piece with a really nice red thing down here too. Oh, look how clear that is. You know what that is? That's the inside of the amber. There's like, it's like you're seeing the, the surface of the inside of the amber. It's kind of hard to explain, but that's really pretty. Good one, good one, Anthony. Nice insect. Oh, is that? Nah, just one. Very clear. He could possibly microscope really well, but he looks like a little too deep for the microscope. That's piece number one. Piece number two, this one had a weird shape. Also, this one definitely called to me too. So, Anthony, this one's got a weird shape. It's like a bit thicker. Let's see. I'm gonna take off this camera. I think it's a little too big, so we're just gonna zoom in like this. So, are you ready? Are you ready? This one's got like a very triangular shape. Very unusual. Ooh. <gasps> Oh, that's probably one of the coolest occlusions ever. Ooh, it's like, okay, so the occlusion is actually a crack inside the piece. It's not necessarily a, the best thing. Occlusion is kind of a nice name for a crack, but it just looks really cool. This one looks super cool. Some good secondary greens on this piece too. Looks really cool from that side. That's a very unusual character. Dang, and then that piece of skin right there is super red, so it gives it the rest of that red. That's a nice piece as well. Amber waves. We're surfing the amber waves. So, the, yeah, this one would do really good in the sunlight. Lamb29 commented, that's true. Um, let's see how much these two weigh. Two really nice pieces. Two very nice pieces. 27 grams. So wait, what's 27 times 2.5? Don't tell me. It's gonna be 54 plus 13.5. 67.5. 67 67.5. I'll do it, 67. I always round down for you guys. Uh, there's various ways to tell it's not fake. UV light, salt water test. I do them all here too. What did I say? 67? Was that 67? Was that 27? 67. Alright, deal. Anthony, thank you. Good pieces. Those two are going to you. And then Amber Nessa, are you still here? Uh, if somebody, a mod, a Christy, or any other watcher wants to explain to Matthias, 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 how you can tell it's real, um, feel free to explain. Matthias, I would explain, but we're knee-deep in 
unboxing slabs right now. So um, user for, user 140 wants one more slab. Let's let's write this down. Dominican slab price unknown. A tycoon. I'm probably gonna pass on the tiger's eye for now, even though even though it's right here because we've been live for way too long. All right, so Amber Nessa, let's gather up some chi. And let's get a piece under 30. That's, that's a giant piece. That piece is going to be like 80. So we're going to pass on that. That's a giant piece. If anybody wants to unbox this, it's an interesting, very big piece. Oh, and I, I thought I see a little yellow in there. That could be an interesting one. Chaos, are you taking on the big piece? I'll put it right there for you. Are you taking on the big piece? I got to feel out for the right piece. This one, uh, chaos taking on that one. Okay. So I'm going to come back to you chaos. That one's yours. Aha, this one, I'm feeling this one. Okay. This is Amber Nessa under 30. Oh, actually I think this one might be over 30. Let me see. Oh yeah. That one's going to be like 50. Sorry. That one's too big. Amber Nessa. Let's go down to a smaller one. That one just unboxed itself. I think this one, I feel like it's polished on both sides too. All right, so Amber Nessa, here we go. Yeah, the thing that Christy and Pocus just mentioned about flow lines, I can show you that right now. All right, so this one, I hope it's under 30. Is it going to be under 30? No, this one's going to be over 32. Sorry, Amber Nessa, this one's going to be like 40. So I got to go smaller. Third time's a charm. Under 30, this guy, this guy, I'm feeling this one. Okay. User 140. Um, I can go back to that one. I think I remember where I put it. Okay. So here we go. All right, so I already see some yellow skin. That's the live side on the back. Looks very yellow. We like we like clear gemminess. Let's see. Boom, boom. Ooh, super clear and gemmy. That's pure amber. That's like A grade, bordering bordering A plus. Ooh, that's nice. Amber Nessa, you got what the this is what the amber miners want to find. Sometimes the darker stuff sells more here on the live feed, but the amber miners want to find the freaking purest, the cleanest. So usually it, this is so clean that it usually probably won't even have much flow lines or anything. That's also a good sign right there. And then there's the back. This is a UV light, by the way. Nice. Okay. Amber Nessa, you really scored on that one. Very good one. My personal collection leans towards these really clear gemmy pieces. Let's see how much it is. It's, it's going to be a little bit over 30. I hope you don't mind. It's 13 grams. So that's 26 plus six basically. So that's 32. So that should be fine, right? It's only two, two bucks different. I hope that's all right. All right. So then user 140. Oh wait, I got to get chaos first. Dominican slab. All right, here's the big one, Chaos. All right, so this one's for Chaos. Amber Nessa, congratulations on your first piece of amber. And then just so you know, here's a little quick tidbit for you. The amber that you just got comes from the Dominican Republic, which is the best, clearest, yellowest amber in the world. They all have different characteristics. There's a couple different deposits. They're all kind of different, but Dominic Dominican is just the, the shiniest and the gemmiest of them all. So very good piece. Okay. So chaos, are you ready? This is a big un. This is a big un unveil. All right. 
rub our hands together for good luck, guys. Get that chi. Here we go. It's a big piece. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. Drum roll, please. All right, have faith. I already see some nice yellows in it, so let's see. Let's open it up. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, I would have taken that to my personal collection in an instant. That's an amazing piece. It's got this crazy smokiness running through it up here. Ooh, that's unusual. Got some layers, got tons of character, got the live edge. Immaculate polish. Immaculate. Oh, that's a really good one. That is a statement piece. I definitely would have taken that to my personal collection instantly if it wasn't pre-sold. Oh, that smokiness. And then I think we're going to get some oiliness out of the UV reaction. Kind of a face. It kind of almost looks like clouds. All right, let me take down the light. Let's, let's UV. Oh, nothing too crazy on the UV, but that black smokiness is usually typical in green amber, and it is showing it the UV patterns it, but I don't think it shows really well on the live feed. But that's a really good piece. Hey, Miguel, uh, you, this piece is going to come to you guys soon. Congratulations. That is a big, beautiful piece. I wonder why it doesn't have any sister pieces in there. I wonder if it does have any sister pieces, because... That's a big one. So this so this means to cut a slice of amber like this, the piece has to be like really big, you know? It would be a giant raw piece that they have to cut this from. Like this is bigger than any of the raw pieces I have. All right, so here's the next question. How much is this guy gonna be? That's a nice piece, Maria, good claim. All right, Taird, this one's 51 grams. So 51 times 2.5, that's gonna be what, 125, or like 127, I think. 127.5. Will amber burn? Yeah, it'll burn. Yeah, if you put a, if you hold a lighter to it, it'll burn, it'll crack. So 127, chaos, this one's going to you. Very good claim. Amazing piece. And then, Next up is user 140, and I think somebody else asked for three unboxed pieces. So user 140, you still here? Vanity Crystal wants three as well. So Vanity Crystal, let me write you down. Please, a nice one if possible. User 140, I try my best to summon the juju and call upon the most beautiful pieces for you guys to be found. But you know I can't promise it because I've never seen inside of them either. I love other people's risks. <laughs> okay, vanity crystals. Dominican slab, three pieces. Price as yet unknown. Um, Satcher torte. Do you want to get a piece? I can. I can find you a piece. Dominican slab, seventy to ninety. So that would be a bigger piece. Yes, okay, so so first we're doing user, user 140, then we're gonna do Vanity Crystals, then we're doing Sacerdote. Uh, user 140, you still here? Okay, what was the piece that I put down? I don't know where that piece went, so I'm just gonna find. Ooh, okay, this one, I got a good feeling from this one. This one is a little bit bigger, so this one's probably gonna be like 30, 40 bucks. As long as it's okay, because I know you got a few already, so I don't want to pick you like too many big pieces and make your total too high. But I'm feeling the vibes on this one, so that's a possible one. But we could go smaller if you want to go smaller. Let's see. I can only I can only feel the vibes one piece at a time. I'm feeling the vibes on this one, but I know you didn't like the first one, so now I'm like almost nervous. Like I hope you I hope you like this one. I hope it's good, but then we just gotta have faith. Nature gives us what she gives us. We mine it, we polish it. We buy it, we sell it. We watch it, we study it, we love it. All right, here we go. 
Dun dun dun, drum roll please. Dun dun dun. dun. Oh god, this one it looks like it has interesting colors again. Interesting colors on the back, that's the live edge. Let's see the front. Boom, big and clear and jammy and a lot of stuff to look at on the inside. Nice piece. Frank, um, not sure if I can do that. This piece here is pretty nice. I almost feel like what if it was a sister piece to Chaos's? Not too crazy of flow lines, but really jemmy. And I love how you can see into this piece. Like, just like I have a video of one that's going viral. Look at that that detail on the inside. That's just the other side of the amber, which means all the amber is pure. Really, really pure. So I hope you like this one. I do. That's a good piece. Big, big Dominican amber slab, super clear, fun to look at. And this one should do the glow in the dark test. Do you guys know about the glow in the dark test? Ooh, good greens on there. It's not showing on camera that well, but there are some good secondary greens. Okay, so this one, how much? Let's weigh it. No calculator this time. 26 grams. So, damn, did I say like it was gonna be 30 or 40? Cause this thing's actually 26 times 2.5. 52 plus 13, 64. This one's at 64. I hope that's not too steep. I hope that's not too steep. It ended up being pretty big. This one's at 64. But I'm trying to find you a good one, user 140. You can pass on it if you want. I'll give you, I'll give you a mulligan on this one, okay? You can mulligan this piece if you want. It was way bigger than I than I thought it was. You get one, you get one mulligan. Okay, we'll keep. Can I pass the coffee? Okay, yeah, that makes sense too. Okay, so let me let me get out your pieces here. Okay, so user 140, we're gonna write you a new cart. So the coffee one, this one's going back. And then you're gonna have these three. Super big jemmy one, medium large jemmy one, which I really like, and then super jemmy cognac. All three of these are jemmy, very clear on the inside. And then these three together are gonna to weigh 47 grams, 47 times 2.5. 94 plus 23, 117, 117, oh, who's right, okay, so that's the old one, you're out of here, Buffalo Strong, that's a good idea, I could do that. User 140, that's your new name. It's just, that's way easy to say. Dominican slabs, three pieces, 117. User 140 used his mulligan. Okay, so that one's, that one's out. Those three are going into your cart. Um, Chaos Supervisor, I don't think I have any more that big. I can look. Next up is Vanity Crystals. So Vanity Crystals, three slabs coming your way. You still here? You can go in the graveyard. Size-wise, Chaos Supervisor, big one. Honestly, that one is like way bigger than all the rest. No. Ooh, but this one's calling my name. So Vanity Crystals, are you still here? Ooh, thank you guys for all the donuts. We got all the donuts. We got our fill. This one just kind of sneak peeked itself out and it looks freaking awesome. I hope Vanity Crystals is still here. Let me set up a new goal real quick, guys. Like a desert rose. 100 roses, guys. Desert rose, are you still here? I don't know if I should do this one. Oh, Vanity Crystals, that's your name, not Desert Road. You're still here? Okay, so three slabs, so you're still here. This first one, look at that sneak peek. That's, ooh, oh, that one's looking really nice. That's number one. This guy's looking at me. He's about the same size. Those are two medium, so I'm gonna pick you the last one. I'm gonna pick you a small guy. Last one's gonna be really small. 
Okay, so vanity crystals, here's your three. First one, we gotta go with this one. Oh, this one's killing me. Best Wex, thank you. Send donuts, yeah, I think I prefer donuts. William, thank you for the, I think you got 17 roses already. 13 roses you already sent, thank you. We're going back to donuts. Give me donuts. <laughs> 50 donuts, hopefully we can finish this before the live finishes. 50 donuts, send donuts guys. Amulet, these are at 250 a gram, so the price depends. <gasps> okay, so we're starting off. This one's already killing me. Oh, this one's killing me. <gasps> no. No, 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 no. Don't be full of anhydros. I want the anhydros for myself. Oh my god. Vanity crystals. You might have just gotten some anhydros. Oh my god, hold on. Send donuts, you guys. Two fifty a gram. That is correct. Two dollars and fifty cents a gram. Oh no 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 no! I think I see multiple multiple many in hydros. Yet another piece that would absolutely have gone to my personal collection. Yep, this piece is full of in hydros. That's insane. Nice. None of them are super, super big. But whoa. Lots of little bubbles. Lots of little anhydros all throughout this piece. Especially that one. None of them are too big. Big Z, this one's already spoken for. Okay, so Vanity Crystals. Absolute gigantic score on this piece. Secondary colors. Nope. Next piece, this one's, this one's a little bit bigger. This one just unbox itself all quick. Boom, bada boom. Nice, nice and yellow, pretty clear as well. Some floating detritus in there, some green secondary colors. Search near where it was in the box. <laughs> nice, nice, beautiful piece. And then last but not least, this tiny one. Cause I got two, those two ones are a little bit bigger size. So I got you a tiny one to balance it out. CC Co. How to order? Just claim anything you want on the live feed. Just say take. Last but not least, Jimmy, little guy. Very good. And then CC Co. I invoice through PayPal. So the way it works is like you take a piece like this. You you let me know your email address. I invoice you on PayPal. I ship on Friday. All good. And uh, yeah. Ooh, very good. Okay, so. Very good piece. Very, three very good pieces, especially the first one. That one's crazy, Jemmy. 42 grams total. So 42 times 2.5 is 84 plus 21, 84, 94, 104, 105. 105, boom. Vanity crystals, very good. That one has some, a lot of little anhydros in it. That's like, I, that's another one I definitely would have taken on my personal right off the bat. But I can't just go opening up all these slabs myself because then I would unbox them off the live feed. Satcher Torte, you are next. CC Co, they're 250 a gram, so like, you'll see, you'll see. Satcher Torte, you want one around 70 to 90, so we're gonna try and feel you out a big one. This one's looking at me already. Ooh, this one feels, this one's probably the right price range, but I feel like, I, I feel like by the shape that he sent me a dud with this one. So I'm not choosing this one. I'm just gonna open this one right now. I don't have my hopes up for this one. I think this feels kind of duddy. Oh, oh shit, I take that back. Oh, that might be one of the clearest ones ever. Oh, damn. Okay, well, you have dibs on this one if you want. Let's see what this one's at. <gasps> that one's crazy. 52. Okay, so this one's over your price range. This one's over your price range, but it would be 130. This is a crazy one. Um, I might claim this one for myself. 
kind of oily, kind of oily on the flow lines. Crazy how eggy it is. Where is the other ones? Um, it's like a geode. Yeah, it's very, take if pass. Okay, so interesting piece. Super eggy, no secondary colors. The flashlight actually hits the back of the piece. This might be the clearest amber I've had in a long time. Um, <sighs> Sacerdote, it's a big expensive piece, but it is really good. This one's got crazy. It's like the light doesn't even land on top of it. The light goes straight through it. It's weird. Hold on, I got a big warning sign on my live. This piece is weird. Um, here, Sacerdote, let me let me find you one in the 70 to 90 range, okay? Because Chaos, uh, Chaos Supervisor wants this one, and her and her son Miguel will love it. Damn, very few. So, let, so um, I'll find you one a little bit smaller. This one is crazy. I, the live feed doesn't even show, does not do justice to like how, what I'm trying to show you either. Chaos, this one's going to you. This one's crazy. That's literally some of the clearest amber I've ever had in my life. This one's at 130, I think. Yeah, because 52, this one's at 52 grams, which is a big one. 250 cents a gram. 130. Chaos, that's a crazy one. What does it do in daylight? I feel like it won't even do too much because it just is like so clear. It'll probably just look amazing. God, this one's crazy. That one's crazy. And it's like, I, I feel like the camera does not do it justice at all either. CC Co, did you say you wanted one? Because I'll finish out these orders before I finish up. Okay, so I'm gonna go for one a little smaller than that. No, I'm not feeling it, not feeling it. A little smaller, but still good size. What are you doing unboxed over there in the corner? That's a very interesting looking piece. Very interesting looking piece. This one I think might be 70 to 90, but I wasn't feeling this one. Let's see, I don't feel the juju on this one though. But I didn't feel the juju on the last one. If it's maybe, if it's maybe I pass. Let me see. Some of these are unboxing themselves as I go. Ooh, this one, I'm feeling this one. This is the one, okay, so. Sacha Torte, I'm feeling this one for you. I think it's, it's more towards the $70. Maybe. It feels pretty big. It feels pretty big, but it's not that, not super thick. All right, so Sacha Torte, this is the one I've chosen for you. Ooh, looks super red. You see how it crumbles? That's a sign of red amber. That's a good sign, actually. Oh, super red. Super, super rich red. I hope this one's not too big. Ooh, bacon. It looks like a bacon piece. Really good secondary greens, too. Let's hope this is in your price range. I think it's a really nice piece. Oh, yeah, 35 grams. I think this is going to land squarely in your price range. 87. Perfect. So this one's at 87. Look at these little crumbles. <laughs> Perfection, perfect. That one's going to you for 87. That's a really good piece. Let's look at it one more time. It's very big too. You see, it looks like California. Look at, there's the border with Oregon. Looks a lot like California. Are you by chance in California? Because it would be pretty iconic if you were. And then in the sunshine, the secondary colors will come out really strong on that. All right, so Satchel Torte, that's you. And then CC Co., I think you're gonna be the last one of the day. You want a 50 piece? And then Satchel Torte, please message me your email address and I'll invoice you out to the show and ship on Friday. 
CC Co. Last one of the day. <laughs> Virginia, close enough. CC Co. Oops, I wrote it sideways. CC Co. So you want one that's around 50, right? All right, let's use the magical juju. Last magic of the day. Let's find a 50. Hovering, feeling, feeling, feeling. This one. That's the one for sure. That's the one for sure. I feel it. All right, so CC Co, this is your piece. Here comes the unveiling. Live edge first, that's the back right there. Boom, oh wow, this one's full of stuff. This one's full of weird stuff. Now this is a very unusual this is a very unusual color. My regulars would probably recognize this as this is very unusual. It must be a sister piece to the one that user 140 put, put back. But it is, oh, this one's super weird. We never get this in Dominican Amber. Very unusual. It must be mixed with like a lot of stuff. And I, ooh, I think I see a hint of blue here. If I shine the flashlight on it and it turns blue, that's the best thing you could possibly want. So let's see if we get any blues. Oh, ooh, just a touch. That's that's blue from that's from smoke that settled into the fires. That's a just a touch, but ah, oh, there's some pockets of blue around this piece. Interesting. Just a little bit of blue, just a little bit of blue right here and here. This is a very good piece. And I'm thinking this one's going to probably weigh a bit more than the others cuz it looks like it's got some heavy inclusions inside. So I might knock like five bucks off or something like that because I think it's going to be a little little heavy for its size. 24 grams. I'll do it at 22 grams, right? I'll knock off. That's five bucks. So I'll do 22 grams times 2.5. That's 44 plus 11. That's 55. 55. Someone's going to eat for 55. <laughs> Meek and Charlie. Make it slab 55. Oh, perfect. It's like pretty dang close. CC Co. Nice piece. Very unusual for Dominican Amber. And you guys, that is going to end the live feed right now. So thanks for joining. Uh, all invoices go out right now after the live. So keep your eye out for the invoice within the next two hours. If this is your first time purchasing, make sure you message me your email address. That is important. And then I'll invoice everything tonight. Live again tomorrow and shipping on Friday. So you should get your piece on your Tuesday. You guys, thank you very much for joining. I'll say hi to Mama Bear for you. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Much love. Adios.